Hey everyone, Don here with Don's Question of the Day. Guys, welcome to our special edition of DQOTD for Independence Day 2018. Hope you're able to hang out with family and friends today and enjoy the festivities, fireworks, the food, all the things that go along with the 4th of July. Here is the question for today. Hey guys, today's special Independence Day question is, in the future, what do we want our youth to remember about our independence? Comment below what you think. So that was the question of the day, and guys, what I basically did today, I took all of the comments that we got uh, today that you posted on Facebook, and I kind of threw them all together and tried to make kind of a general... Um, statement for today for our youth for their future and their children's future so hopefully we can um, avoid past and tragic uh, history that we've already repeated time and time again but who knows I don't know so here we go guys the thing that a lot of you were touching up on is that freedom does not come free I'm not saying that people have to get killed uh, but history has proven time and time throughout so many centuries. War is part of history and unfortunately people do die uh, in war. So um, it's just, it's good to remember that in order to be free, there has to be sacrifice, unfortunately, in this evil world that we do live in. Also important to remember that actual people have died and shed blood for our country. Um, I think sometimes we get this fictitious thought in our heads for those of us that haven't had family members or friends that have died in war. Um, a lot of us take that for granted. I know I do sometimes and I don't mean to, but it does happen sometimes and I want, I want to try to stop that, but I also want my daughter to remember that, you know, it does take, it does take sacrifice in wars and different things for us to be free to have the rights that we do in America, men and women. Also important to remember that courage and freedom go hand in hand. Uh, you can't have one without the other. You have to be brave. You have to be courageous uh, when you're going into war, when you believe in our rights and you believe uh, what we are here in America. And I'm afraid we're losing some of that and we should gain that back. We should take a step back and look at the big picture, you know, in America. I don't like to get into too many politics, but that's just my opinion. It's important to remember that we are not entitled to be free. Um, I think a lot of us have that mentality, um, or Americans were entitled to it. Not necessarily. And you know, if we're not careful, things could fall apart. We need to remember to hold on to our history, to remember the past wars and things that have happened, uh, and learn from them and try not to repeat the same mistakes. We need to honor the men and women who have fought for our country and who have died and shed blood for our country and remember the families too of these people i think that is extremely important in doing so in having that mentality of honoring those people will remember ourselves uh, that things are not what they seem sometimes and that freedom doesn't come free like i said in the beginning we need to remember to not be our own worst enemy. We need to stop fighting with each other, stop judging each other for silly things, for things that don't really matter. Like I said, take a step back. Let's look at the big picture with everybody. We're, we all have blood running through our veins, you know. Not trying to preach here, but we need to stop the hate and stop the slander because our forefathers, they fought for this country. People in our last generation and generation before that have fought and they believed in an America that was full of all kinds of different people. And that's really what it's all about, guys. So let's keep that in mind. And I include myself in everything I'm saying today, just to let you know. Let's also pass these things on to our kids and their kids uh, will hopefully learn from them because they learned when they were young. You know about all these different things so guys that about wraps it up for our july 4th uh special for independence day guys appreciate it so much if you like what i'm doing with don's question of the day guys please leave a like on this video and uh don't forget to subscribe i'm don question everything guys
Guys, have a fantastic 4th of July celebration with your family and friends today and tonight. And remember, guys, please be smart and safe. Don't forget to subscribe to DQ OTD YouTube today, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Let freedom ring.